In a recent video I made, I talked about whether or not it's worth it to go to art school nowadays. And in this video, I wanted to give you five alternate ways of studying art that are either completely free or a tiny, tiny fraction of the price of art school. So stay tuned. Skillshare is a really great online resource. It's full of classes taught by some really accomplished people. Many of the classes offered on Skillshare are really like a condensed version of what you might learn in an art school class. I've never really believed that art school classes needed to take up a whole semester. I think there's a benefit to learning in a clear and concise structure without all the wasted time. And that's what I feel like Skillshare offers. Sure, you can't raise your hand and ask a question to the instructor in real time, but you can hit the pause button whenever you want and you can watch and rewatch the info as many times as you want. The cool thing about Skillshare is also the variety of classes that you can take. I've definitely watched my fair share of comic art and illustration classes, but I've also really learned a lot from classes slightly outside of my field, like video and editing, or even restaurant entrepreneurship, or SEO tactics. Even though these aren't my specific profession, I can take some ideas from these classes and apply it to my own work or business. For less than $100 a year, I consider this kind of access a steal. I actually also have my own classes on Skillshare that range from an introduction to inking, to the fundamentals of creating comics, to illustrating body language. So if Skillshare sounds like it's of any interest to you, consider using my link to sign up and you'll actually get two months free. It's a pretty sweet deal and you could try it out within that two months, take as many classes as you want and see how you like it. It's totally up to you, but I'll leave that info in the description below. Good old fashioned YouTube. When I was a student in art school over 15 years ago, YouTube didn't have nearly the depth of content that it has today. For a free resource, this site is incredible. You can waste your time watching mindless videos on here, or you can find some quality content that gives you access into what it's like to be a comic book artist or an illustrator straight from the pros. I'm amazed at how many artists I idolized as a kid now actually have a YouTube channel. I wish they did when I was a kid, and I kind of wish that YouTube existed when I was a kid too. From live streams to tutorials to interviews to podcasts, you can totally supplement an art school education or, in my opinion, completely replace it if you use it right. If you actually practice the things that you watch on YouTube and you're willing to put in the work, this site can offer so much for no charge at all. I subscribe to a bunch of really great art channels on YouTube and one day I'm going to make a video of a list of my favorite YouTube channels. So stay tuned for that. Patreon's a really cool platform. I think it's less on the top of people's minds just because it's not really set up for search and discovery within the app, but there's some really cool content there if you know how to find it. A lot of creators use Patreon to fund their own projects, and a lot of them offer rewards that are somewhat educational, like tutorials, portfolio reviews, or even mentorships. This is a really great way to get more exclusive access to some of your favorite creators and the knowledge they might have to offer. There's no set price on Patreon. Every creator sets up their own tiers and prices, but if you're looking to invest in your education at a tiny fraction of what art school costs, Patreon is perfect for that. Oh, and be sure to check out my Patreon page. I offer a lot of really cool educational stuff like mini tutorials and how-to blog posts. I do a mix of written content and videos. Um, I'm having a lot of fun there, so I'll leave the link in the description below if you're interested in that. Okay, back to another completely free resource. I know we're all familiar with Instagram, and if you're an artist on there, I'm sure you already use this as some form of inspiration as well as education. I thought I'd include it in this list as a reminder though, just in case you're wasting your time looking at selfies or pictures of people's lunch. IGTV, Instagram Live, Instagram Stories, so many artists are using this platform and the features attached to really give insight into their process. 
In many ways, if you're watching an artist go live on Instagram, working on a piece in real time, it's like watching a demo in art school, except it's completely free. Again, Instagram sounds like a really obvious one to even list, but I feel like a lot of students and a lot of aspiring artists aren't taking advantage of Instagram and all the knowledge it has on there to offer to their full benefit. So just as a reminder, definitely use Instagram. In this digital age that we live in, it can be easy to forget about books, but the truth is, if you're over a certain age, books are kind of where it all started in terms of learning a new skill or satisfying a curiosity. I think there's still a lot of value in art books if you can find a good one. There's plenty of throwaway art books out there that don't offer much, but there's a large amount of really great classics that still hold up today. Whether it be for basic anatomy, perspective, or something like learning how comics work, books can be a really helpful tool. The great thing about some of the classics is many of them can be found really cheap online or really cheap at a used bookstore. So for the most part, they're really cost effective. I made a whole video on some of my favorite books for learning comics and illustration, but there's so many more and I feel like I can make a few more videos just on that topic alone, so stay tuned for more videos on that. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'm sure none of these alternatives were anything that you haven't heard of before, but sometimes I think it's really good to remind yourself that education, art education included, doesn't always have to be super expensive and exclusive in order to be effective. We live in a time where so many things are accessible with all the technology that we have. Let's not forget that art education is part of that as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.